हेलो एवरीवन वन अमरात्र को भाव मैं कैन आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू अनादर एपिसोड ऑफ कोर्ट्स टुडे ऑन लाइव लॉ वेर वी अपडेट यू अबाउट ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट लीगल डेवलपमेंट्स दैट टुक प्लेस अक्रॉस द कंट्री टुडे वी विल बिगिन विद डेवलपमेंट्स फ्रॉम द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया एंड देन मूव ऑन टू हाई कोर्ट्स एंड अदर सबॉर्डिनेट कोर्ट्स इफ यू लाइक अर कंटेंट दैन इट वुड मीन अ लॉट टू अस इफ यू कुड प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब टू अर यूट्यूब चैनल लेट्स बिगिन A constitution bench of the Supreme Court has dismissed the curative petition filed by the center seeking to reopen the settlement with Union Carbide Corporation to claim additional compensation for victims of the Bhopal gas tragedy. It noted that the settlement can be set aside only on the ground of fraud, but no such ground of fraud has been pleaded by the Union of India. However, the Supreme Court directed that the sum of rupees fifty crores lying with the RBI. ought to be utilized by the central government to satisfy the pending claims the supreme court has remarked that the trial in the lakhimpur kheri violence case in which union minister ajay mishra's son ashish mishra is an accused is going on the right path and is not slow paced a bench comprising justices surya kant and jk maheshwari made this observation after taking note of the status report filed by the first additional district and sessions judge Lakhimpur Kheri UP The bench also directed that the interim order passed by it back on January 25th by which interim bail of 8 weeks was granted to Ashish Mishra and four accused persons in the counter case will continue to operate The Karnataka Lokayukta has moved the Supreme Court challenging the Karnataka High Court's order granting interim anticipatory bail to BJP MLA in a bribery case The matter was mentioned today morning before the Chief Justice of India for urgent hearing. To provide context, a complaint was lodged before the Lokayukta police alleging that Viru Pakshappa demanded illegal gratification to process a certain tender in Karnataka Soaps and Detergents Limited. The Supreme Court has agreed to hear the writ petition filed by the Telangana government seeking directions to Governor Tamilisai Soundarajan. to clear 10 bills passed by the legislative assembly which are awaiting her assent senior advocate dushan dave mentioned the matter today before chief justice of india dy chandrachur seeking urgent listing saying that several bills are stuck the cj has agreed to list the matter on monday president of the national lawyers campaign for judicial transparency and reforms and advocate Matthew J Nedumpara has moved the Supreme Court of India against designation of advocates as senior under section 16 and 23 subsection 5 of the Advocates Act. The matter was mentioned today before Chief Justice of India D Y Chandrachur who has listed it on March 20th. The plea states that such that this designation has created a class of advocates with special rights and the same has been seen as reserved only for the kin of judges and senior advocates thus resulting in the legal industry being monopolized Chief Justice of Kenya Martha K Coombe was present in the first bench of the Supreme Court today afternoon to witness the constitution bench hearing in the Shiv Sena case Chief Justice of India DY Chandrachur welcomed her as well as the delegation from the Kenyan Supreme Court Senior advocates Kapil Sibal and Mahesh Jait Malani also extended welcome to the Kenyan Chief Justice on behalf of the bar. The Supreme Court today witnessed a rare sight of one bench openly expressing its disapproval of another bench assigning a case to it. The well-established practice of the court is that the Chief Justice of India assigns cases to benches exercising the powers of master of roster. A bench led by a fusing judge does not direct that a case should be listed before another bench. A departure from this practice miffed a bench comprising justices B R Gavai and Vikram Nath. The genesis of the issue is an order passed by a bench comprising justices M R Shah and C T Ravi Kumar on February 27th, directing that a case be listed before a bench led by justice B R Gavai. The Bombay High Court has protected NCP leader Hassan Mushriff for 2 weeks to approach Sessions Court for anticipatory bail in a money laundering case related to a sugar mill being investigated by the Enforcement Directorate. A division bench of Justice Revathi Mohita Dere and Justice Sharmila Deshmukh kept all contentions on merits open and posted Mushriff's plea seeking quashing of the case after 4 weeks. 
observing that restricting the right to information only to citizens would be contrary to the constitution of india and the right to information act the delhi high court has ruled that section 3 of the rti act would have to be read as a positive recognition of the right in favor of citizens but not as a prohibition against non citizens under section 3 of the rti act all citizens have the right to information justice pratibha m singh also observed that the right to information ought to be available to citizens and non citizens depending upon the kind of information which is sought and the recognition of rights guaranteed to such class of persons under the constitution of india The Bar Council of India has told the Delhi High Court that it will look into and decide a representation for making right of children to free and compulsory education act that is the RTE act a compulsory subject for students in all law schools within a reasonable time a division bench of chief justice Satish Chandra Sharma and justice Subramanian Prasad disposed of a public interest litigation petition moved by NGO social jurist after this particular submission The Gujarat High Court has directed the Gujarat government to file its reply on a public interest litigation petition seeking a direction to the state government to take appropriate measures for banning the use of loudspeakers in mosques for azan five times a day across the state. The bench of acting chief justice AJ Desai and justice Birin Vaishnav passed this order while allowing a Bajrang Dal leader to join an already instituted PIL in this regard. after the original petitioner sought to withdraw his plea citing threats from people belonging to a certain community thank you keep watching courts today on live law for more such updates see you tomorrow